Contemporary abstract painter Deborah Philip eats up life with eyes wide open. And while her style is expressive and experimental, it's built on a process that's focused and methodical. Her work explodes with color, but celebrates its subtleties. Her studio is a reflection of who she is, vibrant, creative, inspiring. Uh, this organized chaos, that's what I call it. Yeah, it's, uh, yes, it is me. And I am so, I feel so blessed really to have a studio, uh, to have this place, so my office, my sanctuary, where I can come in and just let it go. Let it, whatever is in my mind that I'm thinking, maybe you want to try this, or just for a day of experimenting with color or whatever. It is, it is just such a, a gift to, to have this world. I just love it. While Deborah Phillips' studio is her sanctuary, it is also very much her laboratory. Experimentation is central to her work. Yeah, for me, I like a lot of variety. Free-range chicken. I like to move. <laughs> move around, lots of little tastes of different things. You don't want to eat Chinese food every night. You know, let's have a little variety. Fresh, lively, spontaneous. Deborah Phillip is someone who uses all the crayons in the box a painter's brush or, you know, uh, any, you know, like squeegee, anything that can make a mark is great to me. You know, everything has its own personal kind of stamp feeling. And I was even thinking the other day, I've got this great old broom, you know. It's an old, like, kind of skinny one of those little ones. And I thought, I wonder what the marks of that would be like, you know, just to see. Just the brush itself can mean uh, a whole different feeling and a whole different means of expression. Well, the layering, I, I love the feeling of it, uh, the kind of softness of the edges, the way, you know, the flow, it goes down and then it just kind of maybe spreads out a little bit or depending on how thick uh, the paint is. But uh, I just think that feeling of, of uh, the, the flowingness of the paint has a freedom to it that is um, natural and uh, not contrived you know it just it has its own way of expressing itself and I try and tune into that and then by layering you know that way I'm not interfering with the paint I let it dry and then come at it from another side or another angle and uh, just let it build up one after the other until it feels like it's finished. A visual artist is very in tune to looking around and observing and noting color or you go wow what is that what a great combination Deborah Phillip received a formal art education at the Tyler School of Art in Philadelphia followed by a year of classical studies in Rome her connection to nature inspires her but her work is enriched by the passionate way that she embraces life you have to have some life experiences as well. You have to feed off of something. I need recharging. I need to be able to go out. There are a lot of things that I love to do, including gardening and fishing and hiking and, you know, all that kind of stuff. That's what feeds us. It's not just your mind. Your body needs it too. And you have to be, I think, open to getting new energy and new, new ideas, you know? It's not just all right here in this room. When we would come here in the summers, because uh, his mother lived here, and so we'd come up and visit. And, I mean, we would start, we'd go fishing in the morning. Then in the afternoon, we'd go snorkeling with the salmon down at the Stamp Falls, or going over to two rivers and looking, you know, or fly fishing. Or I mean, everything seemed to revolve around fish. And then you'd come home and fire up the smoker, get the fish, cook the fish, eat the fish. Everything was fish, you know. It's just like, we should have been Pisces, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it's just like, that's... That's part of our life here. And it really is, uh, you know, I mean, it's just a fabulous place for that. A lot of people ask you, what, what is your inspiration? Where, where does the idea come from? And my answer to that is that it, it's like a little seed that blows in, you know, with the wind and either, you know, 
it's, it can be a very small idea or something, you know, larger, but it, it just starts at that point. And then you build on it, and I build on it through photography, and I build on it through using the iPad. So if something lodges in my brain and I'm fascinated with it, then I, I find myself um, sketching it to death, you know, and I'll, I'll use the iPad for that, and I'll, I'll, you know, over and over and over and over again. And then I'm starting to think, okay, if this is so strong for me, now what? Am I taking this, do I want to move this into a painting series, or how am I going to express that? Because the, the medium of the iPad is completely different from painting itself for me. It's much more graphic, it's very quick, and it's um, you know very colorful so you can move colors around and get a, a you know it's a perfect sketchbook actually. Deborah Phillip is constantly exploring media and method. The exciting technique of pouring paint is risky and unpredictable. While the path the paint takes can be manipulated unexpected things can happen. It takes an experienced and educated eye to know what's working and what isn't. Everything always looks easy, right? Until you start it. And then you realize all the variances and, and possibilities and mistakes and everything else that can go wrong and happen that can be good things too. And so that, that's part of the experimentation of painting everything isn't going to be a winner, right? I mean, so you learn. I mean, the other day I was struggling uh, with a painting, uh, but the struggle is basically a lot of times just what it is, right? That's what painting is. You put it on, you take it off. You put it on, <laughs> you take it off. And somewhere in between, maybe little bits and pieces stay or, or don't or whatever. And then at the end of the day, I was so frustrated, I took it outside and I hosed the whole thing off. I just went, shh, bye, <laughs> see you tomorrow. I never get bored, I never get, I don't really would say that I get blocked. I really don't feel, you know, I may have periods where, you know, I feel like I'm sort of finding my way, but I always find that making art is such great therapy for whatever you're going through, even, you know, in like really hard times for me or emotionally distressed times, uh, it was such a great outlet, you know, you know just wonderful for that. Immersing herself in her inspiration, painter Deborah Phillip is after its very essence. She is a woman whose passion for life and self-expression through her work are inseparable. And that indeed may be the reason her work is so extraordinary. <laughs>